Hello everybody. Um, I just wanted to make this short video because I'm really excited. Because today uh, my ZWO uh, camera arrived. And I just wanted to show you what was in the box. I ordered this uh, from the ZWO uh, website. What I did, I bought the for the first time, I bought a mono camera. So this is the ZWO uh, 1600 uh, Mono Pro. It's a CMOS, it has a CMOS uh, sensor and it has cooling. So this will be come my with this camera I will make my hopefully <laughs> when I figure out how it works, I will make my first steps um, into uh, the advanced uh, advanced ways of uh, uh, performing astrography. And what I already really uh, what I already like uh, uh, in this camera is actually that it has uh, one USB 3.0 input, so you have a USB 3.0 cable to allow a faster transfer to your laptop or your to your PC or whatever. Um, and also, it has three uh, three. It has two USB um, outputs 2.0. USB 2.0 outputs, so you can actually uh, use the camera as a guide cam as well. Um, or you can also uh, connect a filter wheel, so that the filter wheel um, does not need to be connected separately to a power source. So that will save uh, at least a cable, I think. Uh, so that is really nice. And of course you see also a plug here for uh, the adapter. You need to buy this separately, so the adapter 12 volt uh, adapter is not in the in the package. You need to buy this separately, but okay, it's uh, it costs only about maybe 10 or 15 uh, euros. Um, so that's already nice. So what else came in the box? Well, a couple of uh, adapters. So we have here a 21 millimeter adapter. Um, this one is a 16.5 adapter. Now we have of course the USB 3.0 cable. Um, we also have, okay, yeah, this is a nose piece that you can screw on the camera. And of course you can put a 1.25 inch filter on. And we also have a couple of spacers. And in the end we also have like a quick guide. I really uh, have to read that of course <laughs> before I'm going to use it. So you can see it actually. Looks it looks nice, looks it's not too long. So we'll read this documentation. And you also have two USB 2.0 cables for the out uh, the output uh, um, the, yeah, the outputs I just uh, showed you. So, really excited about this and I'm going to try to use this material. So I will keep you posted on how that goes. If you look at settings, then you can choose for different settings. So, you have the highest dynamic range. I think it will, will prevent you, you will have like uh, from the faintest nebula to the um, brightest stars it will find now like the highest dynamic range in which both of those like faint and bright are uh, I think uh, yeah combined to a maximum uh, possible way actually this is also not a very professional so I'm beginning to learn uh, how to, what, what this actually mean uh, means so bear with me on these videos um, and unity gain I heard actually that a lot of people um, Use Unity Gain as a preset, so I will will also use that as a preset uh, at first, and we'll see how it, I will just see how it goes. You have also lowest the read noise, and you see then the gain is all the way up to three hundred. But I think then you might risk um, with brighter objects, you will you might blow out, for instance, the core of a galaxy or the core of a globular globular cluster. Oops. Um. Uh, yes, this English. Um, okay, so the first thing I wanted to do is let's let's just see if the camera cools down. So I've here the sequencer, and oh, I already like when you look at the sequencer, you can see you can select the camera. So uh, 
I selected just a RC camera actually and that seems to work so if I click on connect it will connect and now the first thing I wanted to do is just see whether or not the temperature of the camera will cool down uh, hi folks uh, I'm back again and um, yeah just I uh, let the, uh, the, the cooling um, run for about five minutes I think a little bit more and um, now we can see that the cooling is actually at 100% and the temperature is minus 20 degrees well it fluctuates a little bit so minus 90.5 to minus uh, 20 degrees below zero and um, actually i think that is uh, that's quite okay because in the and i'm for sure i'm here in my t-shirt in the in the room so the room uh, is i think as high as maybe 20 21 maybe 22 degrees uh, celsius so it really cools down to about uh, minus 40 or uh, about minus 40 below temperature so here we are again, uh, the two minute exposure uh, with Unity Gain settings. Let's stretch this one. Okay, and still it looks pretty solid. I should zoom in, right? I'm sorry. Um, okay, it has actually some distortion. But I'm happy with this actually for two minute exposure okay I don't see any M glow at the corners because that is the main thing I was looking for I have uh, a lot of M glow uh, when I used the 178 uh, color camera um, all right it's now in the final stretch so um, it will take also a five minute exposure uh, with unity gain settings and I will be back when it completes bye bye so hi folks, uh, 10 seconds left uh, for the 300 seconds so the 5 minute uh, exposure. I'm really curious about this one. Let's see how it looks on Unity Gain setting. Uh, downloading. Oh, let's not run the end of sequence because it had some trouble uh, last time. Uh, let's stretch it. Well, okay, it looks really nice. Let's zoom in. Yeah, actually now you see well there is some uh, distortion there is noise but what i am uh, because it's a cmos camera of course there will be noise um, and we have to deal with that of course but i'm really happy with the fact that i don't see any amp glow now in the corners not a significant uh, proportion uh, or amount anyway and maybe a little bit here now you see this seems to be a little bit lighter on the right the bottom as compared to the rest of the picture but it surely is a lot less as compared to the ZWO uh, camera I had before the, the, the color camera the 178 um, so wow I think this is really promising actually when looking at this picture okay we see here you see the noise clearly there is noise at five minutes uh, exposure but I wouldn't expect it otherwise from a uh, um, I wouldn't expect it otherwise from a, from a CMOS camera. So here you still have to deal with noise. So you still are, we still going to need flats and darks and bias frames in order to compensate um, the image, the light, uh, the light uh, images that we are going to take. But um, for now I'm pretty happy and I'm really looking forward to uh, looking at the first images I shoot with this camera. Right, bye-bye.